So we're going to change this and we're going to go to lift exposure. And then of course, as you see with the lift exposure, that's completely changed the tabs here that are available. So number lifting. So this is the number of people that are lifting the patient. If it's an isolated area, we're in the bathroom, the person's wedged between the toilet and the tub, and we can only get one person in there to safely and effectively lift the patient and puts us at higher risk and susceptibility for injury. List the patient's weight here. The malfunction, so this is equipment malfunction or a necessary deviation from proper lifting. So if we say yes, that's gonna bring it up and then you, you're able to put your explanation in. So equipment malfunction, necessary deviation from proper lifting, and this gives you all the reasons. So like the smoke exposure reporting, we have multiple elements that we can select. Once you've selected your explanation, then your activity, you can list here. So this is just lifting an item or moving equipment. It doesn't have to be specific to a call. It's heart problems, stroke. These are some of the, the general calls that we're gonna see. And then of course, one of our biggest ones that we see, especially at some of these care homes, are the lift assist. So the lift assist would give us that exposure. And don't forget to list how many people are actually lifting. And then of course your patient's weight, that gives a little bit of, of clout to um, the potential for the injury. So once Ben is done with his exposure details, then we can click the tab new, then it allows us to enter another individual. So everybody can create their own exposure. If there were multiple exposures or somebody was actually lifting upstairs while the other person was lifting down the stairs, don't forget to come back up here, make sure that we're selecting that exposure. Okay, so as we're adding an additional exposure, if that person isn't listed, basically under your tab here, you're gonna click all users, and then you can scroll up and down and look for your, your name, or you can just type your name in. You're able to enter your employee number in as well. All right, so if anybody has any questions or concerns, uh, if there's any elements that you think that would improve the functionality of any of these exposure reporting, please reach out to myself, Scott Figgins, or to Ben Strosian. We'll work with you through the process. Remember, all of these are to protect you and for your benefit in the event that you guys have anything happen to you.